Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Murphy from the Upton Town Library and welcome to today's tween and teen craft tutorial all about making paint chip animal mosaics. They look like this, I'll show you mine. This is a cat, hopefully you can see that. It's a cat sitting in the grass watching a butterfly and this is the template I used. You can find this template along with other ones on our website, which is uptonlibrary.org. If you click on the teen tab, there's a link for teen printables. You can find those templates as well as other activities. You'll need things like paint chips. I call them paint chips. Some people call them paint samples, paint strips, whatever you call them. We're gonna be cutting these up today and gluing them onto our template to make in an animal mosaic. Um, so you can find things like this. I've got a whole stack here that I'm going to be using. Shh, don't tell. I visited Lowe's. But you can find those at places like Lowe's, Home Depot, um, Koopman Paint. Um, even Walmart has a paint se uh, section that you can find those. And those are always free. People take those just when they're deciding what color paint to use at their home. Um, if you don't have paint strips, you could always use magazines, construction paper, um, things like that. That would work well. So we're going to get our materials set up and I'm going to show you how to make this fun, simple um, craft that you can do while you're doing something like listening to an audiobook. So to make your paint chip mosaics, you'll need a few things. I have these animal templates here, which will be on our website under our teen link on our homepage. So our website is uptonlibrary.org. If you go to the teen drop down menu, there's a teen printables. Uh, page that it brings you to and this will be listed there so you can use these templates or you can just make up your own um, Just do an outline and use that to, to guide you. You'll need some paint chips So these are some I got at the local hardware store. I got these at Lowe's but places like Lowe's, Home Depot um, Koopman, Koopman Lumber, Koopman Paint um, Any places that sell paint even Walmart, I believe you can get these paint sample chips for free if you don't have those, you could always use things like magazine pieces or just um, construction paper. You'll need scissors and a glue stick. So for today's craft, we're going to make, I made my selection. We're going to make this cat with the butterfly. We're going to make a brown colored cat. The background will probably be blues and purples. We'll do green for the grass, grass reeds here. And then who knows what colors for the butterfly? We'll see. So we're going to take this project step by step. The first thing we'll do will be the green pieces of grass. I figured those will be um, amongst the easiest to make. So I'm going to take my green cards here and basically all I'm going to do is cut up little tiny pieces that will fit in those, those spots and we'll be gluing them on. So it's nice to get an assortment. So I'm just going to kind of cut this one into strips and then just little pieces. And this is one of those projects where you can always cut them to fit after you've cut them too. So they might be too big, too small. I'm gonna avoid the little white pieces, cut those off. So I'm gonna keep going until I have a, a nice little pile of these green pieces here. And then once I have those, we'll start assembling with the glue. So now that we have our pile of small green pieces, we're gonna start assembling. So again, this is just a guide, so you don't have to follow the boxes exactly, but we'll just do a few little strips like that with our glue. Purple is nice because you can see where the glue is, and then we'll just start filling in like a mosaic. If that one's too big, we'll pick a narrower one. These are very hard to pick up, so we'll just kind of keep going along. Again, just a guide. You can always take your scissors and kind of trim into little triangles to fit those little tops of the grass. So it looks like a blade of grass. All right, so that's how we'll do it. We'll keep going until we've filled out all of the grass. So here we have all the grass reeds done, blades of grass rather. 
They look pretty nice, pretty cool with all the different shades of green. And I think the next color is I'll work on the brown shades for the cat. So I'll take my stack here, cut up little pieces, and then we will do those. Um, not sure what I'll do for the eyes, but we'll see what that looks like. Maybe a green or a blue eye would look good there. So we'll do that next. So you can see I continued on with the cat and used some different shades of brown. It's important not to use a lot of colors that are exactly the same. You want it to look like a mosaic, so you want to vary the different shades in each section. So I'll keep going on the rest of the cat and we'll do the eyes. So here we have our cat all filled in. I chose to use some of the purple to fill in the inside of the ears just to differentiate it a little bit. Gave it blue eyes and a nose. And now we can do the butterfly and the background. So I'm thinking blue probably, shades of blue and purple for the background. And um, we'll see what happens with the butterfly. Maybe the gray, even though it's kind of a, a duller color, it might look nice. So we've got the background all done. And finally, we're going to do the butterfly. So I've got uh, black pieces and green pieces, and we'll see how it looks. Here's our finished mosaic with the completed project and the original side by side. So you can kind of take a look and see how they came out. Definitely a more challenging project. Your hands will get sticky. You'll need to trim and cut pieces as you go along but really rewarding and um, something great to do. Maybe you feel like putting on an audiobook or some music and listening, just having some relaxing downtime, some mindfulness, and have fun while you're doing it. Good luck.